Hey guys and in this video let's talk about Android 10.0 Q and Fuchsia and both of these are really interesting topics you guys are showing interest in these topics so yeah let's talk about the latest news and information we have right now about both of these operating systems that might replace one so first off a major news coming for Android 10.0 Q Google is planning to add almost native graphics layer engine support for graphics rendering and along with providing smoothness the interface this thing will also help developers making perfect two-dimensional games without any problems. At this point, I think Google's Android 10 is going to be a major redesign in terms of performance. You are going to see the smoothest and perfect graphics, animations and user interface. Still something that is not right about stock Android, that's the smoothness. The animations are not perfect, are slow. Apple's iOS in terms of RAM optimization and animations is far better. Even the Oxygen OS which is based on Android is far better than stock Android operating system. So Google is going to fix this in the Android 10.0 Q. And I think Google is going to announce Android Q Developer Preview 1 along with Pixel 3 XL Lite and Pixel 3 Lite. So wait for this. So only a single news about Android 10.0 Q. Let's talk about Fuchsia and I have tons of information for you all. So first thing first, most of you guys were asking how we can install Fuchsia right now, how we can boot Fuchsia on Android smartphone. So let me clear this all. You just cannot install Fuchsia right now on any Android smartphone or any smartphone out there in the market. There is only a demo file available that is just for showcase. But if you want to install actual Fuchsia, there are tons of graphic cards which are supported. My laptop is supported for this. And I think if you guys are interested in, I'll be able to install it, Fuchsia operating system, the real Fuchsia operating system on my laptop and show you guys the progress of Google, how Fuchsia is working right now and what changes Google is doing. So yeah, if you guys are interested in, do let me know in the below comment section about this. If you want to install Fuchsia right now, I will provide all the links in the below description box about this. Next news, a redditor found there are total of 3 shells for Fuchsia that is Dragon Glass, Flamingo and Yugen Glass they are like desktop environment and I am not going deep into it you can google it right now if you want to know more about the desktop environments and shells Next up a major news Fuchsia SDK is now unofficially available to download and SDK is basically software development kit like Android SDK for developing applications for Android and Fuchsia SDK is for developing applications for Fuchsia. So yeah interesting part is Fuchsia SDK is totally different from Flutter SDK and I have no idea at this point if Google is going to combine both Flutter and Fuchsia to develop applications for all three Fuchsia, Android and cross-platform iOS or Fuchsia SDK is going to be a standalone for Fuchsia operating system. There's so much Google needs to reveal about Fuchsia and I can only hope they combine both Flutter and Fuchsia so that we can develop applications for all three operating systems together. As of now, if you want to develop and compile applications for Fuchsia, you can download the Fuchsia SDK which is available right now and you can run the Fuchsia applications on your Fuchsia specific devices which can boot the Fuchsia operating system like Pixelbook or the supported Intel graphic cards for GUI. Okay, so that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to like, subscribe Peace out.